In this tutorial, we're going to talk about adding piercings to our models here and uh, blending them in convincingly just to make them look natural. So again, let's go over to our yellow model. She's going to take the brunt of our uh, body modifications, early tutorials here. And if I switch to my marquee tool, what I'm going to do is just make a nice round selection here on the twin's chin. I'm going to copy and paste that selection onto a new layer. And what we can do here is instead of importing a jewel or a piece of jewelry, I'm just going to make one very quickly. So I'm just going to uh, drop the, uh, drop the uh, saturation here so we get it more into a gray tone. And if I just click on it, we can see exactly where our edges are. And if we go into the burn tool, we can create some shadows in this jewelry. And I'll just go also in with the dodge tool and give it a few highlights as well. Give it some variants. Maybe we want to put a little highlight in the bottom. And also, of course, I'm going to go to my brush tool with uh, a nice soft edge, about six pixels. And I just want to introduce uh, a little bit of the skin tone that's in here. I want to have that reflect in our piece of jewelry as well. Maybe some red from the lips I'll take and put that into place too. And uh, if I drop my opacity down, increase my brush size slightly, I'm just going to get uh, a nice little pink tone. I'm just going to pop it right over top of the whole thing. So now we have a piece of jewelry that if we want to here, we can adjust the uh, brightness and contrast, make it look a little more contrasty and metallic. Drop the brightness down a little. And I'll also just use the dodge tool to take away some of this hot red and make it more of a nice pink. So here we have a little quick and dirty piercing that we've created. And uh, on the bottom layer, once I duplicate it, I am just going to hit the levels and I'm going to drop the, the lightness all the way down to the dark. So what I'm doing is, in effect, creating this, uh, turning this into a, a black layer that's going to become our shadow. Uh, just so we can see what we're doing here, I'm going to turn off this acne layer for a moment. And with the uh, bottom shadow layer, uh, we're just going to hit that with a Gaussian blur. And what that'll do is give us a nice blur that we can then nudge around following the shadows of the face. And that'll also help lift the piercing off the face a little bit. And give the piercing a little bit of depth. So maybe that piercing's looking a little too uniformed and a little too big and bold. So I'm just going to shrink that down a little bit. And I'm also just going to go back to our dodge and burn tools. And I'm going to burn out some of the top of this where the model's lip would put this into shadow. And switch that to mid-tones and really darken it out. And... Respectively, I'm going to hit the top here with a little bit of a highlight. I'm just going to reduce my brush size. And if we come in for a real close look, we're just going to build up a little bit of a shine here that looks a little more natural. And also just darken some of these bottom areas. And now we have something that looks a little bit more directional, a little bit more natural. And to make it even more natural, I'm just going to hit it with a blur. And I'll just soften our edges up a little bit and match the rest of our shot. We can reduce it in size slightly as we reduced our main piercing. And if we move it into place, we can get something that blends into the uh, bottom layer a little more naturally. And of course, feel free to make a few last minute adjustments. If you think maybe this is too dark, like I kind of do. 
You can erase a little bit of that dark edge. And what we're left with is a fairly believable looking piercing. So now that we've got our piercing here, I'm just going to merge these layers together. So they're one, and because she's pretty much all in gold tones and yellows and whatnot, I'm going to change the color of that piercing just by using the hue and saturation controls. I'm going to go to colorize. And if we wanted to, we could make it a green piercing, maybe to match her makeup. Uh, or what I think I'm going to do is just bring it into the gold realm here and make it look a little more goldy yellow. 